Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching for this video. I'm gonna do a keto taste test on these two flavors of pistachios. So we got the jalapeno pistachios and the chili limon pistachios and they're both from uh, Setin Farms. I'm not saying that right probably. Now I got these the last time that I went to TJ Maxx looking for some black shirts. So I don't really have my hopes high for these. It says that the regular price is $4.99 and I bought it for $3.99 so a dollar off. Obviously I'm from Mexico so these flavors caught my eye immediately. So the jalapeno and specifically the chili limon. I saw this one first and I was like mmm gotta buy these. And then I saw the jalapenos right next to it so I figured okay one I need to buy them and two because they are keto friendly uh, I want to uh, do a keto taste test. These are labeled premium crafted pistachios. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Hopefully it means they taste good. But before I get started, let me go over the nutritional facts. So both of these have identical information here. Uh, so it says one of these bags is three servings. One quarter of a cup is one serving, so 30 grams. It's 170 calories, 13 grams of fat, nine grams of carbs, which three are fiber, and six grams of protein so nine minus three so that's six net carbs now i don't think i can finish this whole bag in one sitting so six times three 18 so 18 net carbs would normally be too much but because there are nuts uh, then they tend to make me full faster especially if they're salty it makes me thirsty so i eventually stop so i'm thinking this is probably going to last me a week so 18 net carbs throughout a week, let's say five days, and that's not too bad. But remember, if you can eat the whole bag, that's eight. But remember, 18 net carbs, if you eat the whole bag, you're gonna come pretty close to going over your allotted uh, carbs for the day. So just be careful with that. Okay, so with that being said, let's open them up. I think I'm gonna like the chili limon better, so I'm gonna start out with the jalapeno ones. Now, to be honest, I don't normally buy pistachios that are already uh, pitted, seeded, whatever they're called. Uh, I normally like uh, sunflower seeds and pistachios that are still in the shell because that kind of slows me down. Anytime they're raw like this or opened already, uh, I tend to eat more than normal. So that's another thing to keep in mind when you're eating these. I do like that it has a resealable bag because as I said, I don't think I can finish the whole thing in one sitting. Okay, so here we go. Mm, the smell is not really strong. I don't smell anything. That I don't really smell the jalapeno that much. It just smells like regular pistachios, so let me get started. The pistachios themselves taste really good. They are spicy. They're spicy, but I don't taste the jalapeno. I guess I was looking for a specific flavor for the jalapeno, kind of like a jalapeno cheese and all that. But the fact that they're spicy must mean that it has jalapeno on there. They don't taste that much different than regular salted pistachios, but I do taste the spice a little bit, so it's not crazy spicy. Uh, again, I do well with spicy, so maybe for somebody else, somebody who doesn't really eat spicy food that often, this might be really spicy for them. But for me, it's just okay. The flavors, again, it's not too strong, as it has really earthy kind of flavors. Uh, both the pistachio has that earthy pistachio flavor and also the peppers. I don't know if you guys can hear the ambulance and the firefighters, but it sounds like something crazy is going on. So that one's okay. That one's actually, you know, I do like that it's not a really bold flavors. Uh, I think it, it makes me enjoy them uh, longer. Uh, when it's really strong flavors, uh, they get old quick. So uh, I, can see, I can see myself enjoying these for a while. Okay, so now we're going to open up the chili limon pistachios. These bags don't open as cleanly. I don't know if it's the I don't know if it's the design or what. These do smell a little bit different. They don't smell like regular pistachios, but they also don't smell like chili and lemon. They're not that good actually. 
I do taste the lemon, but it almost tastes more like the lemon that comes in those bottles, which I don't really enjoy the flavor of. Uh, whatever they did to maybe make it last longer, it affected the flavor. So one, it's not as sour as I would want. It's barely even noticeable. The jalapeno one's actually spicier. This one, I don't really taste any of the spiciness. Even if I let it sit on the tongue, it's almost sweet for some reason. The top ingredients for this is pistachios, chili pepper, non-GMO, citric acid, and sea salt. Cayenne pepper, lemon oil. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. And uh, I'm assuming that's why they ended up in uh, TJ Maxx and not at the regular stores. The texture of the pistachios is actually pretty good. It has a decent crunch, but I do not taste the chili pepper. I barely taste the lemon. Yeah, these are disappointing for sure. Let me go back to these jalapeno ones. Yeah, I was really looking forward to the chili lemon ones, uh, but they did not deliver as I hope. Uh, this right here is actually not bad. I do like these. I like the subtlety of the flavor. I like the spice. It's a nice kind of spice that gets like in the back of the tongue, not so much in the lips or taste buds. I don't know if that makes sense. I would probably buy these again. I don't think I'd buy these, which like I said, I'm disappointed because these are the ones that I was looking forward to. Uh, but you can't win them all. And uh, at least now I know the next time I see him, get the green ones, not the red ones. So that's it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I got a bunch of videos coming up. I just finished editing about 10 of them that I'm slowly gonna start uploading. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these taste tests. Uh, I know I'm pushing a lot of them out, but I'm hoping that you guys are gonna be able to find your go-to snacks from these taste tests. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, hit that bell.